let's see if you can prove that you really are smarter than a fifth grader. Let's go. Welcome to first grade. How are we to have you here? Every question here is worth 100 points. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm Isa. Favorite yeah. subjects are vocabulary and grammar. Yeah! Fussy baby. Pick your favorite <laughs> subject. It's between spelling, measurements, math, social studies. Quarter. Be a quarter. And then one after that would be an egg. One egg. An egg. An egg. An egg. Fussy mm -hmm. baby, what's the answer? Can she stop calling me that? It feels mean. I <laughs> choose that name, you did! So. What? Fussy baby, please pick your Second answer. Second grade? Wait, Switzerland? Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, this, this is somewhere up here. Wait, is it? Sorry, but that was not the right answer. Bye, I guys. will have to end the show for now. Bye. We hope yeah. you have In Diary of a Young Girl, who wrote, I still believe that Anne people Frank? are really good at heart? What? Anne Frank. What kind of third Helen graders Keller. are reading the Diary Laura of Anne Frank? English Wilder. Society. What? Positive novelist. Algebraic correspondent. This child. <laughs> Logical on big geek sports converter pros mom awesome father e. sci-fi reader third hippie mom's grandfather <laughs> Ariel aunt free range high schooler other egg <laughs> quantum blogger kind biographer positive counter head sibling fantasy high schooler <laughs> Clever goth. Dad's clown. <laughs> Big grandma. <laughs> Other mayor. Big blogger. Free range biologist. Fictional mother. Fictional rocker. Data cousin. <laughs> Comic teacher. Aerial rocker. Bean converter. Wildlife historic governmental keeper. Metric mom. Me. Botanical tech energetic grandpa. Me. Marine journalist. <laughs> sci fi nerd. Quantum politician. Politician. Well, I like I like octopus. It reminds me of myself. Okay, there we go. It's perfect. Abacus Middle School. No! Youngest middle schooler. <laughs> okay. Youngest middle schooler. Go ahead and pick a subject. And it's social it's studies. Okay. The Babylonians had a measurement for circles, which was very close to pi. Great to know. Oh my go god! Youngest middle no! school. Go ahead and pick a nice subject. Social Who studies, the fuck is asked for a fun fact and busts out their Babylonian knowledge? 
keep asking it for a fun fact and I'll be like, did you know that pink is a nice color? <laughs> How many times does the letter in the toilet e that appear in the spelling of the following word? Probably Cambridge. Itchy. 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 points. Let's greet our new classmate and say bye to the old one. Peace out. <laughs> Yay! And giving you a hand now will be. <laughs> True or false? According to the nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty was an egg that fell off a wall. Nope. False. Fake news. He's not an egg. Nope. Youngest middle school. never said he's an egg. And the actual answer is true. Good try, but it wasn't the right answer. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. When does it say he's an egg? He's not a fucking egg! Humpty Dumpty is a character in an English nursery rhyme. Probably originally a riddle and one of the best known in the English speaking world. He is typically portrayed as an anthropomorphic egg, though he is not explicitly described as such. Which of these would not attract a bee to a flower? Scent. Color. Price. <laughs> Youngest middle schooler. What's the real answer? Quotient <laughs> of two over two. Um, wait, what the fuck is a quotient? Youngest middle schooler. Wait, what What's the, the fuck is a quotient? Dividing? Two divided by two? Zero? Wait, two, one? Two? Wait, I don't fucking know, man. Nothing. Actual answer is, is <laughs> one. What word is spelled wrong in this question? <laughs> what? <laughs> spelled. Question. What? <laughs> Youngest middle schooler. What's the answer? What? <laughs> what? What is the quotient of 2 over 2? <laughs> if Jada is visiting the one country in South America that has Portuguese as an Brazil? official Brazil? language, Brazil? what Brazil? country is she visiting? Brazil? Brazil, Martian? Brazil? Brazil? Youngest <laughs> middle schooler, please pick your answer. She's going to Brazil! Wait, where's Brazil? If Jada is visiting the one country in South America that has Portuguese as an official I know language, a difference. what this country one. is she visiting? This is Brazil, of course. So, Haley, thanks for coming to class. Can you tell us a fact about your favorite subject? French classifies books as an essential good like bread, electricity, and water. And I need the books. Fact. I'll, I'll die if I don't have the books. Question. Turn up the volume for this measurement. At a contest, Jenny and her friend ate three and one third apple pies ah. each. Each pie is 51 grams. Right. How many total grams okay, of pie did they Okay, what's a third of 51? Okay, so Youngest middle schooler, Wait, pick the four. right answer. 14, 2, 17, 51 times 2 is 102, plus 17, 119. 
We got the answer. Yay! <laughs> the real answer is 340 grams. Good try, but that wasn't the right answer. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader, but we'd love to give you another try.